Hello. We study electron in a magnetic field and Larmor precession. Okay. Uh, we will see the classical theory, the quantum theory. We know that a spinning charged particle has a magnetic dipole. And the dipole moment is proportional to the spin. Okay, now we see the classical theory. In the classical theory, uh, the particle placed in the magnetic field um, has a torque. The torque are given by the magnetic dipole and by the magnetic field, and it produces a variation of angular momentum. We will see now how it's, it is produced. Okay, uh, the particle has a magnetic moment and is placed in a magnetic field and the spin experiences a torque due to the magnetic field. The energy associated with the torque is that one and as a result, the spin processes at larger frequency. Okay, in that way, in that way. Now we see the quantum theory. Okay, in the quantum theory, we have the magnetic field along the SC direction. Here we have uh, the Hamiltonian with the Paula, Pauli matrix in the Z direction and both eigenvalues and eigenvector. Uh, the Hamiltonian does not depend explicitly on time, so we can write in that way the wave function. And with no laws of generality, we can write this contact in that way. Uh, let's let's uh, let us calculate the expectation value now. Okay, this is the expectation value for the SX Pauli matrix. And here is obtaining. Uh, um, we had put as usually a Brad and Ketz and the SX Pauli matrix here. Uh, now we look for for other values. Okay, these are the calculated expectation values and the expectation values uh, tell us that the S precesses hmm, and S is tilted at a constant alpha angle to the SC axis. S precesses at the Larmor frequency. Okay, now let us see the quantum interpretation. Okay, let us see uh, possible, a possible quantum interpretation of the precession, okay? The possible result of a measurement are two possible results, but the expectation value <coughs> can be between these both values. Um, 
This is an statistical result. The expectation value can have a value between mass and minus h bar, half an h bar, due to its an statistical result. However, the only one possible result of a measurement are this and this. Okay, the expectation value can be here. But the only one possible results are this or this. But here, for example, the number of spots can um, change the expectation value position that can be between both values. Okay? Bye bye.